all at home, that it's a great time for us to, to take more time, you know, maybe to be expressive, to be creative, even if we create a bit of a mess initially. And I'm sure Ramona created a few messes in, in her time <laughs> before, before she became, you know, the artist she is. And also amazing jewelry she makes, uh, paintings, drawings, uh, she's a Reiki master. So it's an expression of her energy, which, um, you know, is recognizable in, in her work. So I'm very, you know, excited, Ramona. I, I'm going to mute myself and you, you, you can just take it away, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alessandro. Thank you for inviting me uh, to be part of your event this evening. I'm delighted to be here. Um, is my voice clear? Can everyone hear me all right? Great. Yeah, loud and clear. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so as Alessandro mentioned, um, I'm a Reiki master and I've been doing art, uh, art and healing uh, for over 20 years, 25 years. Um, and uh, today I would like to um, talk to you really about uh, art as a therapy, uh, something which you can do yourselves at home um, to support us through what we're going through at the moment. Um, just just one, one second here, Alessandro. Um, I'm trying to get yes. to speak of you and I've got you in the center. How, how does that... Um, can, can we adjust that somehow or... Yeah, I can see you in the center, but I don't know how to take myself... Um... If you double, if you tap on yourself, maybe try and tap on you and you should, you should be in the middle or something. Let me just check the screen if I can do something. Here. Normally speak of you. Um, it works. Yeah. I mean, it's lovely to see you, but it's, uh, <laughs> thing is I've got my camera off, so I can't see I'm not on at the moment, but you can maybe see. If what... you, maybe if you came on. Yeah. Would that help? Okay. Now, if I go on speak of you now. Uh, Adele says she can see you all right. Maybe it's just you, Ramona. We can see you very clearly. You, you've got the whole screen there. Um, right. Okay. I'll come off again here. Yeah. Well, you can you can stay on. It's nice to. Yeah. Uh, to <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm mute though. All right. Yes. So um, I started my journey into. Uh, therapy so over 25 years ago because there were some questions which I needed answering in my life and I wasn't able to to find the answers so I ventured into lots of different areas and Reiki was the first one and I went on to learn so many different techniques all of which I incorporate into the offering which which I propose uh, my clients um, and Art as a therapy turned out to be something which I find extremely uh, beneficial. Now, it's not just artists in fine art, but it's different techniques. So it's, it's the broader sense of the word art. Um, and for me, that encompasses dance, that encompasses music, um, so sound, and the written word. Um, and, and really many, many other ways of self-expression. Um, and the, the whole reason um, I've explored this to, to such a depth is that the subconscious mind is extremely powerful at hiding emotions, um, perhaps because it doesn't feel safe to express them. Um, either we don't, we're, we're not in the right space where we can speak about them, uh, or we are not received when we do speak about them. Um, people haven't got time, or they're not interested, or we get ridiculed, or we said, oh, you're making a big deal about it, uh, or children should be seen and not heard. So there's lots of things happen in our life at different stages, and we get bottled up with all these things which we're feeling, which we're going through. And we just don't know what to do with them. And they just pile up and, you know, people say, oh, well, just, you know, deal with it or, uh, 
or, or whatever they say. And we've got piles and piles of this stuff, which we're desperately trying to find a way to express ourselves, but we don't know how. And so these, these tools, which I've mentioned, so art, uh, writing, dance, uh, movement, music, all of these things help. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about a few of them, in fact, a few of these different things, all of which I've been through. I did three years training as a dance therapist in France when I was living there. And um, the tail end of that journey was a one week uh, module in Marrakesh where we could incorporate calligraphy and dance. And the entry into the calligraphy was actually through yoga, through Tai Chi, Qigong, and dance. So the practice, really the centering of the body and the awareness of the body through all of those four techniques on different days at different times of the day would prepare our mind and our body to be so centered, so concentrated that we would then and only then we would sit down and express ourselves. And I've got a couple of photographs which were taken in Marrakesh. Um, and there I'm sitting on the ground next to my um, calligraphy master. Um, and although I did not follow what he taught me, what he saw me doing, he said, Ramona, you must continue, you must. And, um, and so I did. And these are some of the calligraphies which I did, thanks to the dance therapy. So we have many ways of going into ourselves, many ways of expressing uh, what we've got perhaps stuck or perhaps unexpressed or hidden. And, um, you know, there are many ways in. So for me, that, this was, as I said, there was yoga, it was dance therapy, it was qigong, tai chi. And through some of these images, you can see movement. You can see um, also the martial arts. You can see the circular movements, uh, you know, which, which one does uh, as a warm up and as a preparation. So these are just some of the images. I thought I'd share those with you. And then um, some images uh, relating to dance therapy also. That was, uh, we were a group of people, so we would get together every so often. Um, and you'd be surprised how much stuff is stuck in the cells of the body. Um, if you've had any kind of deep body work or massage, sometimes you may feel a bit emotional and things rise to the surface. So this allows you to release it. Um, and so dance also helps. Um, now coming to the art. So you don't need to be an artist of any formal training at all. Um, all you need to do is to get some get some paper it can be a notebook it can be some uh, photocopy paper get a couple of pencils a pen markers crayons whatever you've got it doesn't matter nothing fancy just whatever you've got at hand um, and just draw scribble doodle when sometimes when we're on the phone i'm sure a lot of us doodle without even thinking but this is an expression of an energy which wants to release itself so just extend on that, take it a little bit further. Um, I would encourage you, uh, if you've got a book lying around which you're ready to give away to a charity shop or uh, chuck it out, um, pick it up and allow yourself to use it as a sketchbook. Um, I bought this from the charity shop several years ago and I use it as a drawing book. And it doesn't have white pages, so I'm not afraid of making a stupid looking mark because it's already got some lines on it. You know, it's got, it's a book. So I'll open up properly some. So 
here I even cut out some page, some parts of the book. You know, some. Really, you can just allow yourself to be totally free. An extension of doodling, use colour or not. Whatever comes. Um, there's no right and there's, you know, there's no right or wrong. Whatever you've got feeling, whatever's kind of coming up from deep within you. And it can be very soft and gentle. And sometimes it can be very angry or it can be, you know, just scribbles. Or it can be more pattern and more colour. It really doesn't matter. It's just about getting your hand flowing. And I would strongly recommend that you do something every day. When you wake up, cup of tea in your hand, just sit down in your bed and just do some, just do some, you know, some, uh, some doodles, some drawing, whatever you feel like. Yeah. There's any questions at the moment? Uh, someone's asking, does tapestry count? Yes, any form of expression. Like I said, you know, I spoke about dance. I spoke about um, movement and music. Singing is also a great way of expressing. Certainly tapestry counts because um, it's, you know, you're using an artistic expression. You're expressing something that's deep inside of you. So embroidery, any, anything, anything uh, creative. So um, forgive me, I'm not reading the chat. So thank you, Alessandro, because I'm really focusing on... on yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if there's anything. Yes, thank you. Feel free to ask any questions. Um, so one book was over and then I went on, I went on to the next one. Um, and also what I found myself doing is adding, adding the written word. Just add writing because sometimes words come up, thoughts come up and you want to write them down. And sometimes it's just lines. They can be more geometric. You can add some collage if you want. You can get out a paintbrush. Um, There's really no right or wrong. And if you like drawing, you can just draw, you know, what you've got in your house. You can draw your breakfast, uh, the plates, your coffee pot, your teapot, um, a flower, or if you've got a garden, you know, just, just get your hand flowing and allow the expression, allow yourself to express whatever it is that's, that's going on. And you, you'll be surprised. Um, yeah, you'll be surprised at what, what comes out. It's the repetition, you know, of allowing yourself to, um, to express. And don't, don't be afraid of exploring different styles, different techniques. There's no right or wrong. No one needs to see it. And you can just chuck it away. Sometimes Ramona, can I, can I just give you a comment? You might have something to say. Yes. Um, what somebody is saying she's hyperventilating the thought of drawing writing on a book she can't even write in any of the lovely journals she's been given oh. she can only write in bits of paper or old exercise books what does that say about her and be kind please <laughs> <laughs> you don't it was just a suggestion to draw i mean to write in um you know in in a pre-existing book um, they, this, this technique is called altered books. Um, but you can just take some newspaper, you know, and, uh, and, and go with that. Um, because eventually it's going to get chucked out, right? The newspaper. So here you're recycling it, you're upcycling it. Um, do it on the back of scrap paper. Open up an envelope which you've received. You can chuck it, it's going to get chucked out anyway. So open it up. Um, and then draw, scribble, write. Um, she said you don't have to be kind. <laughs> I'm being honest, so... <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Don't be precious about it. You know, envelopes, newspapers, uh, paper bags, whatever. Yeah, does that help? <laughs> like here, for example. 
I just started by doing circular, just circular movements. And I added one to another to another. And it turned out to be, um, you know, a little figure. And the little figure was sad all of a sudden. And then I, and I inquired, I said, oh, why are you sad? What's going on? And then the writing started flowing. So just allow the process to unfold. And, you know, just, uh, just stay with it. Stay with it. Allow your, your subconscious mind to express itself. It may have been suppressed for a long time for whatever reason. Um, and certainly at this present moment, you know, we're, we're all going through some very difficult, unsettled, unknown times. Um, and I'm sure we can all benefit, uh, you know, by, by just drawing, writing, scribbling. Uh, if we're angry, we're furious, you can make really big marks, you know, like a child would. Allow yourself to do that. Get a newspaper or get two, three bits of newspaper, put them together, put them on the floor um, and just scribble, stamp on them, tear them up if you're really mad, you know, allow your get. I think the point I'm trying to make is to get the energy out of your system and not to keep it inside because if you hold it in too long, um, the body gets into an imbalance which leads to a dis-ease and nobody wants that. So I'm just giving you a few techniques, <clears throat> a few techniques and a few ideas to help you express yourself. Um, and the other thing I would encourage you to do is journaling, writing. Um, if you've got you now, now you've got a lovely notebook, so this might be an ideal opportunity uh, to start in that. Start tomorrow morning. Again, this is something which, which I do, just write, write your feelings, write three pages. It's called morning pages. Um, and if nothing comes to mind, if you've got a blank, then just write blank, 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 blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to write. And eventually you'll see by line five, line by, by line 10, words will come. Something will start flowing out. And just allow that. And the first few times, there may be nothing, but keep going for three pages. Keep going. Even if it's rubbish, doesn't matter. It's, it's a process. It's like getting a regularity flowing and just, it's telling your subconscious that it's safe, that you're safe, that you can write whatever you're feeling. And no one is gonna read it if you don't want them to. Um, you can tear it up and throw it away. Um, you can burn it. No one has to read it, but it's important to get it out. Sometimes we may have been hurt, people may have said unkind things, or we were never able to say something to someone who's passed or someone who's moved away. So use these, these tools, which I'm suggesting, um, you know, to help yourself get through something, um, to help yourself clear some, you know, baggage, which may still be lingering, which is there at the back of your head, but uh, hopefully with this process, you know, it will, it will help you to get through and uh, answer some questions and, and help you lighten up. Any, any questions? No, she's, Sylvia's just saying she can recommend that book, a Julia Cameron book, The Art of, um, The Artist's Way, which is really okay. good, isn't it? Great, yeah. okay. Um, I'm just showing you a little, a little sketchbook. Uh, I always like to carry something um, with me in my bag when I'm out and about. Of course, that's not the case anymore. But um, uh, so this tiny little sketchbook is a good size. Uh, when I'm on the tube, when I was on the tube, uh, uh, you know, I would just draw people in front of me. Uh, sometimes I would do more writing and just stick in a red bit uh, which would express what I'm feeling. Sometimes it might get a bit angry and I would write a poem. Um, sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit more vertical and more structured. There's no right and there's no wrong. Um, really the main thing is getting it out of yourself and just play, you know, play like a child and have some fun. 
with whatever instruments you've got to hand. This is collage. Um, yeah. Can anyone relate to what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Yeah, good. See here, here are little um, underground drawings, you know, just, but really quick and rubbish ones, but who cares, you know, it's the hand is moving and flowing um, and they're, they're expressive, they're little wiry drawings. And then I came home and then I added a bit of pink around them. Um, so lots of different styles and themes, just experimenting really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can be very, very light and, and fresh um, or, or a little bit little bit heavier it just really you know it's it's what's inside of you that needs to pop out and say i'm here i've got a voice i want to say something <laughs> allow that voice out you know whether it's through some scribbles some drawing some watercolor biro pencil scribbles um writing journaling dance and movement yeah whatever, whatever happens, um, free yourself. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I also do, um, little books. I'm going to be running little group, um, art therapy, uh, artist therapy classes. So during those classes, I'll, you know, guide you through various different techniques and processes. Um, and there's little folded, structures also so here if you take like an a this is an a4 sheet of paper on which i've worked on both sides and then it was cut and folded and then a couple of weeks later i decided to add some words into that and i'm actually going to send this to my daughter who's feeling a bit of anxiety so um i'm just telling her to breathe deeply and, uh, you know, just words of encouragement. Um, I'm here with you and, uh, yeah, and you mustn't worry and, uh, you know, just whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> just a simple little thing. It's just an A4 sheet, um, drawn, colored, whatever on both sides, cut, and I'd be happy to show you how to make these. Um, this is another folded structure. Again, it's worked on both sides. Um, but certainly we will, you know, we will, I propose to start with simpler things um, and just getting, getting your hands going and flowing and getting into the swing of things. So, yeah, whether it's in a book or on uh, sheets of uh, newspaper or envelopes, whatever it is. Um, Great. R Ramon, I was going to say, so if people are were interested, I've put your website, your website is yeah. up on the, and they'll get that in the email. Um, wh what do you offer? I mean, you say you guide people. Is it like a course or what, you know? Yes, can so people... there's, there's, um, there's two ways I propose to accompany you. Uh, one is a one-to-one -one session. If there are some personal issues, if there are some specific things you'd like us to work on together, I'd be very happy to guide you through those. And um, I also propose to do group sessions where we will work together as a group, a minimum of five sessions, preferably 10, um, once a week where we will do collective things. Um, so that's, that's as far as the art is concerned. I also, as Alessandro mentioned, I work with uh, crystals and Reiki and energy healing. So there's a whole myriad of um, things which I can support you with. So depending on what your needs are, do get in touch with me. Um, send me a message through my website. 
um, ask me any questions and I'd be more than happy to accompany you um, as you require. Thanks, Ramona. I'll put, I'm going to put your email and um, um, website uh, website yeah. on every on every, everyone will have that. And Mary Rose has a hand up. If you've got a yeah. question, let me just unmute her. See if she's got a um, a question because I can't. Yeah. Oh yeah, go on. I've been I've been doodling while you've been talking. Fantastic. <laughs> so there we go. Fantastic. That's oh wow. Fantastic. Wow. Perfect. You see? Right in. That's the right. Most... Oh, I'm delighted. Yeah. Thank you for your contribution this evening. It's uh I uh I I if I don't do this, I I get that thing about it you feel the energy block. So yes. yeah. Yeah. It's it's especially especially if you have you know, done things. Um, I, um, you know, there, there are, someone is a musician. Um, uh, so no, it's, mm. it's very important to just keep the energy flowing with, you know, whatever mm, way we yeah. choose. Yeah. You've got to keep it flowing. And of course, uh, with Alessandro's wonderful teachings, it's a fantastic way also. Uh, it's exactly in the same vein of, uh, of teaching and, uh, and work we do. Great. Look, I love what and you I've, said. I've noticed this, oh, go on. Yeah. this week without using the buses. The buses are and the trains were one place I liked. That's where I was quite cre creative on the buses. I think it's yeah. some movement of the bus. Yeah. yeah. Do a lot of work on the buses. Good. Not at the moment. <laughs> I like what you said about telling. Thank you. It, the expression you know when you express is telling your subconscious you are safe because i think a lot of people don't feel it's safe to express even if it's rubbish i think what you said is really important just yeah. get rid burn it or or yeah. just hide it and and sometimes you look at it sometime later you think wow that was good or you add to it like you did with your yes. your a4 you add to it you, it's just letting it flow you know yeah. and yeah. exactly i i find what i do with my artwork is that when i create not not this doodling kind of artwork, but uh, what I would deem as uh, fine art, even like the calligraphy images which I showed you. So I would start, the first the image comes forth, uh, it's all intuitive work, and then I actually write guidance or poetry or writing uh, connected to my artwork. We have a conversation, you know, it communicates to me, and it starts saying something, and I listen to it. And sometimes it's poetry, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's saying something. My subconscious is speaking, so I write it down. Uh, uh, David, do you have a question? And then we'll... Can you hear me now? Now, now. we can, yes. Now, yeah. Oh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> David, unmute yourself then. There we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think you, you, you muted me. Um, no, I was just going to say it's all about, yeah, expressing your innermost feelings. And I was doing some floristry um, today on, online. Um, I, I, I like to do some floral arrangements. And that's the way I like to express myself. And today I used lots of bright colours, oranges, sunflowers. Um, just to uh, lift me, lift my, lift my mood, I suppose. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I, I suppose it's the same with um, uh, Ramona, uh, you know, um, art therapy. It's about, um, it, it can change the way you feel about things once you've finished your doodle or, or whatever, yes. I suppose. Yeah, is that right? Yes. And uh, the, the colours you choose are important because they relate to the chakras in our body. Yeah. You will be drawn to, as you said, uh, oranges and yellows today. So they yeah. relate to the second and the third chakra about, um, okay. about creativity, sensuality, safety, uh, yeah. and, and will. So okay. it's, it's very, yeah, it is interesting, the colors, the colors yeah. you use, whether it's for flower arranging, yeah. whether it's for art, or the clothes we wear. Everything yeah. is a language. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. 
Thank so you. Thank you. I think we will we'll move on. And uh, cool. even though I'm wearing black, I've got, you know, I've got red underwear, okay? <laughs> <laughs> <Love it. laughs> no, actually, I don't know what.